I'm Eric Johnson and I'm from the County of Northern Lights. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to present to you. We are a committed group of students who have come together under the Manning Youth Center Association to form a committee to encourage active and safe participation in biking, skateboarding, and other recreational activities to enrich the rural livelihood for the residents of the County of Northern Lights and the Town of Manning to build a stronger community for youth and their families. As a group, we feel we have a lot to offer to the community. Our committee meets on a daily basis during school through an enrichment program offered at Power Up, as well as after school, to discuss and plan the process of building an all-concrete bike and skate park in our town. Our activities to date include daily meetings, evaluating potential bike and skate park sites around town, bike and skate park design and concept vision sessions, studying for school statistics, meeting with stakeholders, comparing and researching other bike and skate parks in Alberta, proposal writing, and preparing presentations. Through fundraising and community support, our goal is to bring all concrete, professionally designed bike and skate park into the town of Manning in the summer of 2014. Hi, I'm Jared Lorenz and I'm from the County of Northern Lights. What is a bike and skate park? Bike and skate park is a recreational park designed for biking, skateboarding, inline skating, and scooters. Skateboarding is one of the most popular summer sports among teenagers in all the rage around the planet and is increasing in popularity. This is the difference between a modular bike and skate park and a concrete bike and skate park. Concrete bike and skate park is an in-ground, permanent concrete facility designed and constructed by a professional designer. Modular bike and skate park is a temporary facility of marginal elements constructed of wood, steel, precast, concrete, and asphalt. As you can see, there are some advantages to a modular. However, the advantages to concrete far outweigh a modular facility. Even though an advantage to a modular is replacing features with new additions, there also comes a cost of restoring the old with the new. Hi, I'm Clay Ferris from the County of Northern Lights. A modular facility without doubt will require constant maintenance. In a research paper from Spectrum Skate Parks, we have read about communities who have spent $50,000 to $150,000 on a modular park and ended up replacing it with a concrete park. A concrete sheet flow park is a park that is built to drain naturally. This eliminates the need to hook up to the town sewer system, saving costs in installation as well as no maintenance because of plug pipes. The designers have mentioned that over time a minimal amount of small hairline cracks may appear. This is filled with a tube of concrete repair purchased from any hardware store. We will be working closely with designers to ensure this park has the best elements and features for its dollar and is professionally spaced to accommodate every age group. With our commitment to fundraising, assessing grants, and finding in-kind donations, we are confident we can raise a significant portion of the $200,000 budget. We have recently secured $50,000 from the County of Northern Lights and $50,000 from the Town of Manning, supporting construction of the bike and skate park. The Town of Manning has also committed to securing a piece of land in the heart of our town that would be a central gathering place and would con convey positive community acceptance. We would proudly recognize UFA's give, Get and Give contest as a contributing factor in the development of this park. In winning the Get and Give contest, we can move forward to secure grants and donations and begin construction June 1st, 2014. The place where we live, learn, work, and play has a big influence on our health and wellness for rural restrictions of the County of Northern Lights and the town residents in Manning. An important feature of this park is to incorporate flow to create non-stop skating, which means non-stop exercise. Other elements in the park strengthen the body core. This is in part due to the running, skateboarding, biking, rollerblading, scooters, and of course, the stunt performance involved. A bike and skate park will give us a lifelong activity. Riders can be any age from 2 to senior. Most common participants are 11 to 19 years old.
I'm Aaron Johnson from the County of Northern Lights. We would take pride in our bike and skate park and would enjoy a sense of ownership in the park. This skate park would provide us with an alternative to riding downtown on the sidewalks and streets, searching for the perfect staircase, slope, and ramp. We would like to include picnic tables and benches, which would be a great family meeting area. Perhaps our school could build the tables and benches in shop class if Mr. Taylor, our principal, gives the okay. This park can be used by any age. It can be a vent for young kids and even older kids to skateboard, bike, rollerblade, and scooter to let off some stress in a positive way. Biking and skateboarding is a non-competitive activity. Even in competitions, competitors cheer on each other. Self-esteem is raised when we can teach and encourage each other. As an independent rider, you don't have to join a team and wait for a scheduled time to play. This gives opportunity for everyone to enjoy because it is an affordable sport. We need a park to incorporate the growing demand for healthy, casual recreational activities like biking, skateboarding, and inline skating in our community. Parents can watch or drop off their kids while they run errands, get groceries, and shop keeping local businesses booming. Part of Eric and my summer vacation included visiting every skate park we could find to play at between here and British Columbia. Families will stay when people can come together and gain a great sense of community and accomplishment. These sheet flow parks will include many elements such as flow features, tables, fun boxes, down rails, and quarter pipes. Upon discussing features, we want to ensure the moves have a place in our park design. As well as shown, the roller will be the three hills representing three battles in our area. We want a park that is specific to our town's character to preserve some history. We have discussed the pros and cons of a bowl and decided that leaving on a bowl will give us many other features to choose from. So, that all the community can enjoy and still give a challenge that demands persistence. My name is Jason Lambert, I'm from the County of Northern Lights and the Town of Here is another design option that has lots of flow and an inside area to enable spectators to sit inside of and cheer on others. We have tons of ideas for concepts of this park and using the knowledge of a professional skate park designer, they will improve it and reshape the final design using our thoughts and inspiration. We have been in consultation with two different designers, New Line Skate Parks from Calgary and Spectrum Skate Parks from Vancouver. We received an overwhelming positive response from the students, boys and girls, as well as the teachers from our presentations already given in the community. Our student survey speaks for itself. My name is Carl Lawrence and I am from the town of Mount. We hope to affiliate with Biz businesses and town to recycle batteries. We hope we could possibly recognize donations permanently and tactfully within the architecture of the bike and skate park facility. We are learning about grant applications and how to complete them. Planning, diversify forest products, and Real Arsenal is a confirmed sponsor and supporter. Mr. Arsenal has joined us as a key member of our committee and will help us research and confirm other financial supporters. I'm, my name is Calvin Redbeard and I'm from the County of Northern Lights. Just like any other sport, biking and skateboarding can have safety hazards. With appropriate signage, all users will remind, be reminded to use at their own risk and wear the appropriate safety gear. And researching all their communities, we have found there to be no issues of raised insurance premiums or liability complications. Skate parks are as common as recreational parks, tennis courts, or skate rinks in other areas. I'm Kyler Hanadak, and I'm from the County of Northern Lights. For more information, like us on Facebook and follow our Twitter page. Thank you for your time and consideration.